Oh my gosh, that's a huge ant. Sorry. Woo, that's scary. <laughs> I don't want to get bit. Hi friends! Welcome to another free flow. This is a playlist here on my channel wherein I move on the spot. So I don't know what we're going to be doing right now, but you already saw it in the title of this video. So when you're ready, all you will need is your yoga mat. Let's jump right in. All right, let's start standing. Let's just have our feet wider than your hips. Have your hands splay out onto your side and let's start by twisting our bodies to the left and to the right. I want your head just looking straight ahead. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out. Good. Open your eyes, coming back to your center, feel all parts of your body. So have your feet, maybe hip distance apart, ground all four corners of your feet, and we're gonna start from the ground all the way up, lift your kneecaps up. Then that engages your inner thighs. If you touch it, it should be hard, right? And then squeeze your butt cheeks together. We're gonna hold this position for 10. Nine, squeeze everything, root all four corners of your feet, seven, Six, five, strong legs, four, three, two, one. Now relax your body. Kneecaps is now down and relax your buttocks or your butt cheeks. Inhale as you reach your hands all the way up. Breathe in, now squeeze everything as you reach the top. Same concept as we did earlier. Hold your breath, hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale, release on your mouth, hands to your heart. Good job. We're going to do that again. One more time. Breathe in. Reach all the way up. Energy from all your body. Hold your breath here. Five, four. Holding your breath. Three, two. Rib cage in. And one. Exhale. Bring your hands down to your heart. Good job. Now reach your hands up. Breathe in. Interlace your fingers, index finger will point up. Exhale, point the left toe and bend to the right side. Point it to the left, the left toe. Good. Stay here. Breathe. And then extend more. Now from this position, you're just going to start to lift that left foot up. Hover and down. Good. Hover, down, bend, hover, and down, coming back to your center. Beautiful job. Let's do that on the other side. Breathe in, reach up. Posture is straight. Index finger is up. Exhale, bend to the opposite side. Right foot sticks to the right. Good, now extend some more. Stretch your side body here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Now we're gonna lift and hover the right foot for three. Down, two, down, last one, up, and all the way coming back to your center. Ooh, shake your body, wiggle, wiggle, shimmy. <laughs> all right, now let's start to rotate our heads. Just a quick warm up. One direction, depending on your speed that you like. Breathe, and then let's reverse the rotation. Good. Now, steady. Look straight ahead, and we're going to bend and tilt, rather, our head to the right, ear, right ear to your right shoulder. You could even place your hands all the way up and back it, slide it back down to your neck, and then back to center. I'm not really touching my neck, I just have it there, so you open up your collarbones spreading wide. Tilt your head to the left side, left ear to left shoulder. Breathe. Good. Coming back to your center. Oh, I miss the sunshine. It's now a little bit cooler, so I can film outside. All right. Let's have our feet wide, as wide as you can. And you're going to have it like a V-shaped position, right? Toes are out, heels towards the midline. Bend your knees like a goddess pose. And then 
Heel toe your feet to where it is comfortable for your goddess pose. Good, and let's pulse it up and down. Good, we're gonna start to warm up this way, burn our bodies. Now let's pair it with our hands, up and down, up and down, as you continue to pulse, kind of like you're doing a dance move, <laughs> bar, <laughs> Pilates, continuing to just do this, or just you and your yoga practice. Breathe. Good, smile. Continue to pulse. Now have your hands all the way up, ribcage down, not navel towards the spine. Ribcage tucking in is what I mean. You guys know this already. We've been doing this all the time. <laughs> all right, now all the way reach up, stretch your knees. Whoo, inhale. Exhale, you're gonna fold all the way down to your wide-legged fold. Then you're gonna have your heels now out. Turn it out. Toes are facing towards the midline. Beautiful job. Now you could, of course, have your hands to the mat or your ankle, wherever you feel good in your wide-legged fold, maybe forward. Stretch all the way. Breathe. Good. Now I want you to grab the backs of your ankle with each hand. And from here, you're going to drop the crown of your head down. So if it doesn't reach, maybe wider stance, right? Until you could reach the crown of your head down on the mat. So you could either guide your hands or yourself with your hands down on the mat this way. Or if you're up for that a little bit more challenge, you could grab your ankle. This is going to depend on you, wherever you feel uh, more stable. You could even have it forward, your hands, if that feels better for you. Breathe. Feel the stretch of your backs, of your legs. Good. Now halfway lift, you could have your hands on the mat or the ground. Okay, you're gonna pivot yourself facing the left leg now. All right, so from your left leg forward, you're now forming this pyramid shape. Both legs are straight, right? Like a wide pyramid, right? And I want that back foot almost like parallel to this other foot, but of course, like a warrior one position, right? About a 70, 80 degree angle. Find what that works best for you, but I want your heel to not be lifting up. I want you to ground that back heel. So maybe wider your stance until you could ground your heel, or maybe closer. Again, this is gonna depend on, on each of us. Continuing to breathe here. Good. Now coming back to your center, wide-legged, and then to the right. So you're going to pivot yourself, facing now the right leg forward. Good. We're going to stretch this way. And really have that back foot to that warrior one position, right? That leg. So you're not out here. You want your toes on a 70 or 80 degree angle. Just stretch here. Good. Now we're going to start to bend the front knee. Bend the knee and coming to the back ball of your foot, lift the heel up, then straighten that back knee, right? So I want you to really, if you're bending, try to really just have your hands down to help guide you and then straighten that knee, right? I want you to really get that straight back knee. <laughs> Stay there. Now you're going to start to wiggle yourself forwards and backs. Breathe. Good. We're warming up first before we flow. All right. Now I want you to drop your shin down to your pigeon pose and have that heel close to your pelvis first. This way, right? And that right knee is out and then close to your pelvis, good. All right. Now from this position, I want your hands to flatten firmly down 
and index finger is pointing forward, right? So this way, you're opening up your shoulders and almost like you're rotating the eye of your elbow forward. From this forward position, you wanna internally rotate it. So now your eye of your elbow is facing towards each other. Elbows are to the left and to the right and then rotating it forward, okay? So it's okay if you have um, hypermobile elbows, you're not really putting pressure there, you're just rotating this. Okay, again, out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Again, out and in. So notice as you do out, right, you're opening the shoulders and the collarbone spreading wide. And then when you're in, you're now internally rotating your shoulders, right? So continuing to do this to really mobilize our arms, arms first, or the shoulder joints. Good. All right. Now from here, as your hands are firmly planted down, I want your foot now to scoot it a little bit more forward, almost like an L shape now with your legs. From here, you're gonna curl the back toes under, lift the back knee up, now your hips are up, you're gonna straighten that front leg in this shape, coming to the pinky side edge of that left, right foot, right? And then ground the back heel. Boom, you feel that side stretch of your right leg from your glutes down to your foot. Ooh, okay, you're gonna bend the knee, drop it down to your pigeon pose. Same thing, and then doing it again. Straighten the front leg and stretch, almost like a downward dog shape, but in this funky, uh, what is this now, pyramid, funky, pigeon, <laughs> and drop the shin. Good. Last one, and we're going to hold. Hold for 10. Breathe. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop the shin, pigeon pose, and let's lift the back leg up. 5. Drop. 4 or the back foot. Three, two, and one. Good, hold it there. Send it as close to your bum as much as you can. See how far you could do it with your active flexibility. Good, from here, you're gonna insert that left arm inside of that left foot and hook it with your uh, elbow for your mermaid pose. Breathe in. Reach the right hand up and over your head as you clasp your fingertips. Breathe out. Good. Now stay here. Opening your heart space, your armpits, everything. You feel the twist. You feel your lumber. You feel every part of your body. Stay there. I'm just going to adjust my mic <laughs> right now you're gonna release breathe in and then exhale to release grabbing that left ankle with the left hand good inhale stretch the elbow exhale heel to bum stay here and continuing to breathe This is my first yoga of the day, almost like my first warm-up. <laughs> so if you need a lot more warm-up, maybe you should pause the video and do more warm-ups for you, right? I always believe that advanced poses are accessible if you just fully warm up your body. But of course, also, not everything, not every asana, right? All right, release that foot and hand forward. Good. From here, you're going to curl the back toes under. Flatten your palms firmly down, lift that back knee up, and you're going to step the right leg back to your high plank. Now adjust yourself. Wrists sh uh, stacked on top of your shoulders. Okay, let's shift our weight forwards and back. We're going to warm up the wrists this way. So spread your fingers really wide. Base knuckles are firmly rooting down. You could even get the spider fingers if you like to really warm up those knuckles too. And as you shift forward and back, 
continuing to lift the heels, you really feel the backs of your legs. Gluteus muscles are engaged. Butt cheeks are squeezing towards each other. Breathe. Good job. Now from here, you're going to send the left leg forwards this time to your pigeon pose. The ant is back. No. <sighs> Sorry, guys. This is so big. <laughs> Just like. All right. So uh, untuck the back toes. Good. And let's start with that left heel close to your pelvis. All right. <sighs> Ooh, stay here in your pigeon. Good, you could wiggle your pigeon here, left and right. Now we're going to do a, a different approach, right? But we're going to balance that feeling. Reach all the way up, breathe in. And exhale, you're going to dive down to fold in your pigeon with your hands now onto your sides like an airplane. Again, breathe in, breathe out. Controlled. Everything is firmly rooting down. Breathe in, breathe out. Last one. Breathe in and breathe out stay here and interlace your fingers behind you index finger will be out all the way pointed up towards the sky and fold some more yeah this is a really great stretch Ooh. stay there you know everything is kind of like burning at the front leg for me also my arms release and fingertips on the mat as you float yourself up good now torso is back bending here stay here for a little bit for a slight back bend good flatten your hands firmly down we're not going to do the elbows this time. We already did it earlier, but you want to curl the back toes under, lift the back knee and the hips up. Good. From this position, you want to scoot that foot forward. Same concept with that L shape, but you're now lifting up, right? We're just doing things differently. Now from here, same thing what we did earlier. You're going to straighten the left leg all the way slowly first. This is your first side leg stretch on this left leg. Ooh. That is intense, right? And then drop. Good. We're going to do that again. Lift up. Breathe in. Breathe out here. Send that oxygen to that left leg. Hold it now this time. Breathe. Now you could adjust your hands to where it's comfortable for you. If you feel that you want it a little bit closer, then that's fine. This is, again, going to depend on each individual. So you want to really find where you're feeling that good stretch for your body. And you're going to come into that pinky side edge of your foot, right? To really feel that. Ooh. So good. Sometimes I like to massage that leg to help it out and drop. Good. We're going to do this now for three. Ready? Lift up for three. Pigeon. Two. Pigeon. And one. Good. So we're doing both um, static holds. And whew, stay there. Good job. <laughs> now from here, we're going to change it up again. If you're ready, we're just going to slide that left leg towards your hips, uh, parallel to your hips. Good. From here, you're going to shift forward. Woo! Shoulders now past the wrist. We're going to try to do chaturanga. Okay, ready? Squeeze your elbows towards your rib cage. Hold for three, two, one. Push all the way up. Wake up your arms. Good job. Now push back. Send your left knee to your chest. Good job. <laughs> Stay there for three, two. Lift it high and one. Drop it down to your pigeon. Beautiful job. And lift the back foot up for three. Down. Two. 
down and one, hold it there and see all energy from that leg lift and heel to bum. Good. From there, again, loosen the right hand from the mat. You're going to insert it and thread it inside of that foot. Hook it with your elbow, finding your mermaid pose. Left hand sweeps all the way up. Breathe in. Breathe out to bind. Stay there in your mermaid. Ooh, feel everything again. The armpits is stretching, opening the heart space now. If you can lean your head to that arm, if that feels good for you, you could or not. And then you're really feeling your back bend, the twist. Firmly ground your legs. Good. For three, two, one. Grab your right ankle with your right hand and extend it out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Heel to bum. You want to stay here for a little bit. Notice every time you do a second attempt, it's a lot more easier now, right? Compared to the first one. All right. Inhale. Extend out. Exhale. Heel to bum. Let's do this for three. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale all the way down. Beautiful. I like to stay here. Who that quad stretch is so good. Good. Release. And you're going to face now the right side. Woo. And you're going to extend the left leg out. Beautiful. Coming into this like middle splits or V shape seated position. Wherever you are, we're just going to stay here. Whew. And we're going to pulse ourselves forward and back. So I want your heel ground down and uh, toes are up. And I want you to flex and point. Floint is what they call this, right? So your feet are like this. So really opening and really pointing each toenails or toes. <laughs> right? Ooh. Energy from each toe. Floint. Get it. <laughs> All right. Now have your hands forward. You can now relax your feet and just have your toes up. Good. Heel is still grounded firmly down. Now from all the way forward, you're just going to drop your forearms down. Stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, breathe, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one good coming back all the way up whoo how does that feel now i want your feet to touch good by the kanasana knees will now splay out to the left and right so your feet are touching and breathe in feel tall exhale to fold down i'm not really pushing my knees i'm just there to kind of guide it right so no pushing you want to let it sink down or allow the knees to melt firmly as you fold right but sometimes you like to help that it depends right you want to feel that uh, balance you could even start to pulse it here forward and up again no pushing just to where you can good now knees together and you're gonna grab your heels with your hands good cup it and you're gonna open it up find your balance to your wide-legged boat pose good Whoo! stay here you could either grab your ankles or your shins maybe your calves if you cannot reach it and you have a little bit bend in your knees this way right we all start somewhere so wherever you are just feel your body and if you can stretch and straighten then that's awesome we're holding this position who feel that your uh, spine is so straight look straight ahead and find your balance now you could just stay here and really engage your score core squeeze it so you feel the strong balance here now option to stay here or if you are up for a little bit of an obliques challenge you're gonna drop the right uh, foot slowly but you're keeping it hovered Good. And back to your center, dropping the left foot slowly. 
keeping it hovered, you're not dropping completely. And back to center, again to the right, down, slow and controlled, all the way. You feel that in your obliques. Center and to the left, down, ooh, good. Now again, last set, to the right. Breathe in as you back to center. I like that breathe, breathing technique. And then exhale as you find that down balance. <laughs> Good. Back to center. Woo! And release. Woo! And shake it up. Good. Now we're going to face the right side this time. And plant your palms firmly down. Extend your legs out. High plank. Good. From your high plank, we're going to shift forward and back some more, warming up the wrists some more as we prepare for our vinyasa. Good. All right. Now, push all the way back to your downward facing dog. Hands or shoulders distance. Feet can be hip distance apart. Good. From your downward dog, let's first hollow the body. Hollow. Ears are now close to your shoulders. Push, push yourself up. We're holding this position. Good. And then you're going to dip your head down, lock the elbows, and lock the arms, right? So push up, dip it down. So you're just dipping the head down. Good. Whew. It's a great scapula push up in a downward facing dog position. Continuing to do it up and down. Up, down. Up, down. Up. And down. Good. <laughs> now from here, let's take our feet together. Let's breathe in. Lift the right leg up. Point the toes. And let's roll our spine forward, tipping now your left toes. And all the way, roll, roll, roll until your shoulders get past your wrist. Look down. And chaturanga, elbows squeezing towards your rib cage, all the way up. Beautiful job. Three-legged dog. Good. That was intense. <laughs> All right. Now let's bend the knee and we're going to rotate the hips. Just stay with your breath. Good. Now from the bent knee, you're going to try to reach the foot, square your hips as much as possible and reach for the head. Now you're forming this half scorpion shape. From here, you're gonna shift forward so your heel, left heel is now gonna lift from the mat and all the way, head is now gonna reach for that toe. Just feel it, you're not really touching it, but get there, whoo, such a great half back bend. All right, release, drop the foot down. Let's take our vinyasa, roll forward and shoulders past the wrist, breathe in, exhale, chaturanga, upward dog, downward facing dog. Oh, so good. Whoo! All right, feet together. Let's take one breath cycle together, breathe in, exhale, stick your tongue out. <sighs> Look up. Beautiful. Now steady your breath. Ooh, find that stillness with your body. Feel every part of your body. Check back in. How are you feeling? All right. When you're ready, again, feet together. Breathe in. Lift the left leg up. Point to toes. Ooh, exhale here. I love this. All right, <laughs> now, same thing what we did. You're gonna roll your spine forward, finding your high plank. Slowly, you're not rushing this movement. Good, now when your shoulders are stacked onto your wrist, you're gonna shift forward, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga. And again, breathe in, hold that position, exhale, push up. Good, lift all the way up to your three-legged dog. Good, all right, bend the knee. And you're going to circle it up. You could even reverse that circle if you like. So whatever you feel good here. Don't lose the breath. Keep on breathing. All right. Now stick it out. 
extend and straighten the knee. From here, look forward. You're now trying to find that arched back. Now bend the knee, point the toes, and really square your hips. So you get that half scorpion shape. As you shift your weight forward, the right heel is now lifted from the mat. And all the way, lift your head up. Good, reach, reach for the toes. Hold, five, four, reach, reach, three, two, and one. Extend it out. Shift your weight forward, shoulders past the wrist. Chaturanga, let's flow it out. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Good. <laughs> All right, now let's flow some more feet together. Breathe in, reach the right leg up. Exhale, knee to your chest. You're going to tap the left elbow with the right knee. Good. And tap the right knee. Tap the left or right elbow and then the right. Tap the left. Tap the right. So now as you tap, right, you're shifting forward. I know it's intense for the wrist, but that's good. And <laughs> you're strengthening the wrist. Left, right. Lift it up. Beautiful job. Whoo. Left forearms drop down and right knee bends good stay there funky downward dog Ooh, lots of back bend all right now reach 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 for the head and toe Ooh, all the way energy from your core three-legged dog beautiful job now drop the right foot down and breathe in lift the left leg up Ooh, exhale here Good job. How are you feeling? Breathe in. Exhale, knee to chest. Good. Tap the right elbow. Tap the left elbow. Right elbow. Left elbow. And as you do this, really squeeze your core, right? You're working on the core here. Continuing to tap. <laughs> Good. Woo! Extend it out. Three-legged dog. Beautiful. Drop the right forearms down. And who bend the left knee. Slow and controlled here. Right? So you're not sloppy. Right? There's a way here when you re really engage your core, it would be easy to really slowly do that bent knee. Good. Now reach, reach, reach here. The head and toe. Hold. Three, two, three. One, push all the way up to your three-legged dog. Woo, good job. Drop the foot down, bend the knee, drop it onto your mat, and take a break in child's pose. Good. Coming on to our camel, Ustrasana. Sit up and Vajrasana, he or hero pose, sitting on your heels. Okay, you're going to cup your heels with your hands. Again, this is our uh, camel pose. So lift the hips up all the way as you open up the chest. Heart space is lifting up. Good. Look up. Good. Now slowly release, sit on your heels, head will always come up last. All right, from here, let's extend our hands all the way, finding your puppy pose. Let's do some more back bends. I want all the evening out of the body. All right, adjust your hips, stack on your hips or farther out to the back. Find your puppy pose. You could have your forehead down first if you cannot drop the chin yet. Stay here. Okay, we're going to march in puppy pose, right? So same thing what we always do. Right heel to the bum. Good. Drop. Left heel to bum. Drop. Right heel. Good. Left heel to bum. All right. Now do it both together. Lift it all the way up. Beautiful job. Hold five, four, three, two. One, drop it all the way down, extend your knees more out and adjust yourself. Now you're gonna curl the toes under, lift the knees, slowly breathe in. And exhale, lift the knees. Good. Stay there and continue to breathe. This is our extended puppy. And drop, beautiful drop, all the way back up. 
to your Vajrasana and child's pose. From your child's pose, you're going to cup your heels with your hands. And the crown of your head touches the mat. Lift your hips up for your rabbit pose. Good. Stay here. We're going to breathe. We're just counteracting the back bend. Again, option to stay there. Or you could splay your feet out to the right and to the left. Again, this is going to depend on how you're feeling. If this is too intense for you, then just go back to your... Uh, rabbit pose. This is just an option. <laughs> really feel the stretch of your uh, cervical spine. Good. Now release. If you open your feet, close it first. And to come out of the pose, just sit back up. Beautiful job. All right. Now ex extend your hands forward, finding again your downward facing dog. All right. We're going to do a little bit faster this time. So let's do this. Lift the left leg all the way up. Breathe in. Exhale. You're going to send it to your chest. You're going to drop it inside of the left hand. Beautiful job. And coming to your crescent lunge, lean onto your th uh, thigh. Breathe in. Exhale here. Good, crescent lunge. Now we're gonna stay here and we're gonna drop the back knee down. Drop and lift. Straighten the knee, drop, lift and straighten it all. Good, drop and lift. Drop all the way down your hands, step back. High plank, let's take our vinyasa. Shift forward, chaturanga, upward dog, downward facing dog. Good, feet together, breathe in, lift the right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Drop it inside of your right hand. Lean onto your thigh. Breathe in. Crescent lunge. Exhale, two. Drop the back knee. Inhale, up. Exhale. Straighten the leg. Woo! Continuing to do it. Last one. Drop all the way up and hands all the way down step your right foot back vinyasa through beautiful job feet together right leg lifts all the way up breathe in exhale knee to chest this time we're going to send it on top of the right shoulder bend the elbows strain the leg good bend lift up Three-legged dog. Good job. Let's do that again. This time we're going to try to float. Knee to chest. Send it to the right shoulder. Bend your elbows. Now both my elbows are leaning to my belly. Or rather the other one is on the thigh. Strain the right leg and maybe you're now leaning forward and lifting the left leg up. Hold for three, two, one. You could either jump back to Dradaranga. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. So you have the option to drop to your chaturanga, kick back, or, you know, just do it normally to get out of the pose. All right. Let's take a moment to find stillness. Whew, it's hard to breathe and talk. <laughs> but the key here is to, like, just find that steady breath. Close your eyes. Long inhalations. And long exhalations that quickly resets your body. All right, breathe in, left leg lifts up. Exhale, knee to chest. Tap the left shoulder to the upper arm. Good, bend the elbows and push all the way up. Beautiful, three-legged dog. We're gonna pair it with a breath. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Now tap the left shoulder, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga, straighten the left leg. Good, hold for three, two, one, breathe in. Exhale, all the way up. Good, three-legged dog. Beautiful job, now we're gonna try to float again. <laughs> EPK, if you're ready, Ekapada Kundinyasana, roll your spine forward to your high plank. From here, just a different technique, knee to chest, tap the left shoulder, Bend the elbows, strain the left leg, and this time lean forward and lift the right leg up. Hold for three, two, one. You can drop the foot and then knee to chest, lift it up. Three-legged dog, good. Right? If you do not want to kick back to your chaturanga. Let's roll our spine forward. Breathe in. 
and stay here for a little bit. Let's hold this position. Protract your shoulder blades all the way up. Lift the left leg all the way up. Breathe, hold. Whew. And let's flow it out, good. Shift forward, chaturanga, upward dog, downward facing dog. Ooh. Now, let's just step the right foot forward. Now, finding your warrior one. So maybe closer stance with your legs. Heel is grounded behind you. Lift your hands all the way up. Virabhadrasana one. Stretch up, inhale. Exhale, rib cage tucking in. Good. Straighten the back knee. Hold. Good. Have your hands in a T-shaped position to your sides and lean your belly to your thigh. Good. From here, going to come to the back ball of your foot now. Lift the back heel up, right? Coming to the tippy toes now at the back foot. From here, you're bending your knee. You're going to lift yourself all the way up the back foot, coming to your Virabhadrasana three. Good. Warrior three. Find your strong right leg. You could have your hands to your prayer position and find your T-shape with your body. Hold your position. Look straight ahead in one point in front of you. Whew. Slowly dropping the back foot down, coming to warrior one. Breathe in. Pivot to your warrior two. Beautiful. Right palm up, shift forward. And breathe into your reverse warrior. Exhale here. Good. Back to your warrior two. Good. Right f um, elbows drop down to the forearm or to thigh. Left hand up. Stay here and breathe. Good. Now maybe extended side angle over the head now. Good. Have that left hand behind you. Good. Grab the thighs or the inner thighs with your left hand. And then slowly, you're going to straighten the front knee. You could still continue to place that elbow there. Good. Coming to your trikonasana with the half bind. You could drop the hands in front or back of your right foot, depending on how you're feeling here, depending on your position. I like mine in front. And straighten the right leg. Stick out that butt. <laughs> and look to the left side. Good. Now have your hands. You could draw one straight line from the ground or your right hand all the way up. Beautiful job. We're resting here for a little bit. You're going to pivot yourself to your goddess pose. So left hand to a T-shaped position. Good. You're going to pivot that left heel. Turn it towards the midline. And then coming to your goddess pose, adjust yourself. Reach all the way up, stretch your knees. Exhale to your goddess. Cactus your arms, beautiful. From here, reach up. You're gonna pivot to your Virabhadrasana two on the other side. So left foot now is now parallel to the sides of the mat. Good, 90 degree angle. Adjust your foot here. <coughs> Ideally, you want the heel stacked on top of the uh, knee. <laughs> Good. Let's change it up a little bit. Breathe in, straighten the front knee. And breathe out all the way to your Trikonasana, triangle pose. Good. If you're having a hard time finding this 90 degree of your hand, it's always great to drop it, kind of like you're, you know, clapping your hand and draw that straight line all the way up. Good, stay there. Now really stretch the front knee. Whew. Feel that. Good. If you're up for a challenge, extend your hands all the way to the left side and slide it behind your neck. Beautiful job. From here, you're going to pivot yourself coming into your pyramid shape. So the back foot is now going to face in that 80 degree angle, kind of like a warrior one position, and then adjust your hips, right? Hip joints are now both facing to the left side of your leg or forwards. Whew, that was intense when you had your hands behind, right? Reach up and exhale. You're going to cactus your arms as you bend the front knee. Good. Breathe in, straighten the front knee. Reach up, exhale, cactus. And bend the knee. Again, one more time. Breathe in, 
exhale, cactus your arms. And all the way up to your warrior one. Whoo! How are you feeling? So good. I love the energy of the sun. All right. From here, you're gonna pivot again, the back foot to your warrior two position. Good, left palm facing up, reach forward, breathe in as you reverse the warrior. And then breathe out here, slide the right hand down your leg for a deeper side stretch. Good, from here, you're gonna try to have that left hand behind your, um, uh, here, hips. <laughs> Good. So, and now your hand is touching like a prayer position and then straightening the front leg again. Now it's kind of like a different pyramid shape because that foot is in a different angle and staying here as you fold halfway. Good. Whew. Hold yourself. And coming back, your torso up. Release that hand. And again, warrior one. Pivot that back heel. Good. All the way, hands down. And step the left leg back. High plank. Beautiful job. From here, you're going to push all the way to your downward facing dog. Woohoo! Steady the breath and find stillness here. All right, when you're ready, breathe in, lift the left leg up. Exhale, knee to chest, send it inside of the left hand. Good. From this kind of a lunge position, you're still leaning onto your thigh. Lift the right foot up. Okay, from here, you're going to lift it all the way up. If you straighten the left leg, finding your standing splits on this side. Good. It doesn't really have to be really high. Adjust your hands to where it's comfortable for your balance. Ideally, you like it on a triangle position, right? So left hand, right hand, and then the foot. This is really a good tripod balance. Now from here, lift, 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 like right leg up. Good. As much as you can. It doesn't have to be this straight. Wherever you are in your practice, try to straighten that standing knee. Now straightening your torso if you can, kind of like a halfway lift feeling. And from here, try to see if you could find your balance into that fold. Hold this position. I'm now looking at my big toe. <laughs> All right. Now you're going to bend both of your knees still in that one-legged position as you Lean your belly back to your thigh. From here, you're going to try to lift up to your supported warrior three. Straighten the back leg. And all the way, hands, find your balance to your T-shape position with your body. Virabhadrasana three. And hands in a prayer position. Good. Lift the leg up wherever you are. Hold three, two, and one. Stand back up. Good job. <laughs> Breathe in. Reach up. Exhale, dive all the way down to your Uttanasana. You're going to bend the knees and jump back to your high plank. Good job. Shift forward. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Exhale, stick your tongue out. <sighs> oh gosh, that's good. <laughs> Stay here. Find stillness now. Steady your breath. Steady your heartbeat. Good. When you're ready for some more, step the right foot forward. Drop the back knee down. Low lunge. Anjani asana. Untuck the back toes. Good. From here, I really want you to fully open up your legs. This, what we're going to do is a deep back bend. So have your foot in front of the knee, right? So you're not stacked. Okay, from here, find your stable spot. So maybe adjust yourself so that you don't wiggle and see if you could let go of your hands and keeping this steady. Breathe in, reach both hands up. Exhale, clasp your fingertips behind now your head. Good. From here, reach, reach, reach all the way back. Good. To your back bend and drop it down. 
Good. Now step the right foot back and then step the left foot forward. Low lunge or Anjani Asana in this other side. Good. Stay here for a little bit. All right. Now from this position, lift your hips now up, right? So earlier we were grounded or very low, right? I want you to kind of sink, uh, lift it up, breathe in. Exhale, clasp your fingertips again and outside of your head behind. Good. From here, you're gonna reach, reach, reach back, back bend as you sink your hips now deeper. Good. Stay there, look up, three, two, one. Drop the hands down. Push back to your child's pose to rest. Good. Shifting our weight forward. The sun is now going away. No. <laughs> Find your sphinx pose. Whew. All right. Now in your sphinx. We're gonna do more back bends. Bend both of your knees, point the toes all the way up. Good. Now from here, you're gonna let go and try to grab the outside of your ankles. From the outside of your ankles, you're gonna kick back. Whoop. Now flex the feet, different stretch, and open your knees more out. Beautiful. Wider than your hips now. Now all the way out. Good. Back bend, different stretch. Stay there and breathe, really press your belly on the mat. Good, and then release. Bring your knees together, drop the legs and feet. Now push up to your upward facing dog. So have your hands next to your chest and push up. Up dog, good job. <laughs> Simple. All right, from your up dog, you're going to... Lift the right toes up. I know this is intense. You're going to cross it to the opposite side, right? Left side. And now you're going to find your wild thing. You could either sit down here and then do your wild thing. Otherwise, if you're really up for that challenge, you could lift all the way up. Hips now are all the way up. And maybe you're reaching now the ground or wild thing. Heart space is lifting up. You could either touch the ground if you're that bendy. Or not, just stay wherever you are. Breathe. Coming back up to your upward facing dog. Good. P uh, feet, tops of your feet now, planting down. Good job. And we're going to do that on the other side. Breathe in. And exhale, do it on the opposite foot. Wild thing on this side. Whoops, my mic is going to drop. <laughs> All right, just have your hands to your wild thing position. Hold. Ooh, there's a beautiful bird. Three, two, one. Just coming back to your child's pose. Ooh, find your child's pose. All right, Ro extend, extend your hands all the way forward as you roll your spine forward. Lift your hips away from your heels. Tabletop position. Curl the toes under, lift the knees, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. All right, now we're gonna crawl ourselves, right? Coming to the tippy toes, you're gonna try to keep your legs as straight as possible as you crawl yourself towards your hands. And when you reach halfway through, you're gonna have your feet together or apart. We're gonna come into our Utkatasana in our lifted or tippy toes, right? It's gonna be a little bit challenging, but you got this. You're gonna bend your knees and you're gonna lean onto your thighs with your belly. Now you're gonna crawl your fingertips towards your feet and find that stability. Just adjust yourself to wherever you feel that you can actually balance as you lift the hands up from the mat. 
Good. Hands in a prayer position. And all the way, you're going to come all the way up. Energy from your core and your strong legs. Utkatasana. Chair pose in this tippy toes. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All the way up to your standing position. Roll your shoulders back. Breathe in. Reach your hands all the way up. Exhale. Samastiti or hands to heart. We're going to end in a standing position. Of course, as always, you could stress in Shavasana. Thank you so much, guys, for practicing with me in this energizing flow. I love the sunshine. I hope you did this to outside of the sun or under the sun because it feels so good. <laughs> Make sure that if you enjoyed this video and before you leave, to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and welcome if you're new here. I'll see you on my next class. Mike is always